let's assume you have the most amazing material lectures, interaction, support, teaching for your studying. Is that the biggest component in your ability to pass your exams? This is an interesting question, and to some extent it feels, it feels obvious. Yes, Yvonne, it is. But let's take a step back. You had an amazing lecture today. You learned, you understood everything you needed to know. Does that mean that you can pass the exam? Well, no. What's missing? What's missing is the time that you spend yourself at your desk making the material, the content, the, the work, making it your own learning how to use the material to solve the problems that you're supposed to be working towards, the types of problems that you're going to have in the exam. No matter how amazing your lectures are, you cannot get away from the need to sit down and somehow make that content your own. The time that you spend at your desk on your own with that content is the deal breaker between you passing and failing. Fine. If that's the case, what do we need to be aware of? What can impact that? The efficiency of what happens when you're sitting at your desk has a lot to do with what we think about as our personality. We may talk about our learning styles are more of an audio learning style or a visual learning style. We may talk about that, but we don't really talk about my personality style impacting the efficiency of my study sessions. But does it though? A very basic definition of our personality is that it refers to individual differences in characteristic patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. When you're sitting at your desk, and you're trying to study, what impacts your ability to study and the efficiency of that studying and the success of that studying is how you think, how you feel, and how you behave. In other words, your personality. If you feel afraid of failure, you're going to struggle to sit down and study. You're going to struggle with those feelings of failure. You're going to struggle to focus on the material because there's this underlying fear that things are gonna go wrong your experiences, the things that's happened in the past, you're more likely to stay in your comfort zones because they don't trigger those fears. So you may stick to subjects that you're more comfortable with. You may stay away from tougher questions because those don't trigger those fears. So the way that you feel will impact your study sessions. If you're not feeling motivated, you're going to struggle to study more. You're going to procrastinate more. The way that you think impacts the way that you study. I think that certain things are more important, therefore I'm going to focus more on them. If I believe that a certain topic is more important than another topic, I will focus on that. I may be right or wrong about that, but that is what I think. If I think that this is the way I should study, because this is the way I've always studied, or this is the way that someone has given me that I trust, or whatever the case is, or this is what I've heard from other people who are successful, then that's how I'm going to study. If I think more in formats, formulae, and calculations, that's what I'm going to focus on. If I think more abstractly, then I'm more likely to stay away from calculations and formats and formulae because it doesn't feel as natural to me. So the way that I think impacts the way that I study. And the way that I behave impacts the way that I study. The things that I actually do, turning my thoughts, my feelings into actions, struggling to do what I said that I'm going to do, the way that I behave, the way that I act out, what I'm actually doing. I may want to study. I may want to study a certain way. I may feel that regardless of whether I'm motivated or not, I must study. But if I actually do that, that's different. Many of us have a difference between the way we feel and the way we behave. We feel and we think we should go to gym, but that doesn't mean we're going to gym. We think and we feel like we should be really nice, patient people, but that doesn't change the fact that we may lose our temper where we're in traffic and someone cuts us off. So just because we think and feel a certain way doesn't mean we behave a certain way. So if we take a like, really oversimplified look at our personality, how we think how we feel, and how we behave. It is very logical to say that your personality impacts the way that you study. 